So you use leftover lamb, you chop it up. Yep. And you put into it a bit of chopped onion. Already cooked? No, no, raw, raw. onion. Good old fashioned raw onion. A bowl of flour, self rising flour. Yeah. What self, is a fritter? Self rising thinking... flour. That was a bit of strange. Self rising. Self rising. rising. A fritter? Is that like, that's not like a potato? No. It's, it's like, like a. It's like a sort of, you know, like was a. Is it potato y? Well, no. almost potato y flowery. Okay. So salt and pepper uh, and flour and water. Yeah. Nothing else. No eggs. Nothing. That's okay. it. Okay. And this is it. And you stir this mixture up together. And my dad, because my, you know, I grew up in a sort of fairly frugal, frugal household, didn't have a lot of money, and leftover were always sort of used up. But it's just, it's, this is just really, really easy. A way of kind of bonding all those ingredients together. Yeah. There's no flour, there's no potato in that yet. No, no, there's no potato in it at all. Oh. There's not going to be any spud in it at all. Right, amazing. Did you not listen to the list of ingredients <laughs> he just gave you? I can't quite understand there's, there's only three, three ingredients three in it. Three ingredients, all lamb, come clear. flour, that's so it. So it's like, it's like a lamb onion pancake. That's it. <laughs> That's it, Holly. I uh, have to work it out. You're not going to eat this until you've worked it out in your head, are you? Yeah, it didn't make sense. Was it your dad that got you into cooking then? With the, uh, it was my my grandmother actually, it? my nana. But my father was a very very good cook, and um, he just he just was able to make stuff tasty. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And stuff like this was just done. A bit of hot oil, a spoon, and then it goes, mm. and it fries, and it just fries in the oil, and that's it. Wow, a bit of ketchup. Uh, Oh, yeah, got to have ketchup. <laughs> and my father's great saying used to say, shake and shake and shake the bottle, none will come and then a lot will. <laughs> <laughs> which I think is, you know... Brilliant. Which is brilliant. Yeah, That's really so good. sweet. He had lots of funny little sayings, which, uh, anyway, there we are. So there your lamb fritters go in, and then I'm going to show you the quickest way to cook your veg. OK. So you've got no time, the kids have got home, you're, they're really, really hungry. Get yourself a pan, make it hot, get a little bit of water and butter. OK. Put some butter into a pan. Yeah, well... Oh, that is hot. That's too hot. Whoa! Whoa. Yeah, that's too hot. That's wow. the quickest way to cook a leaf. You win for the best fire smoke display we've ever had. Now, watch this. And I can still cook, you know? In go the legs. See, there's something about being calm in situations that's like amazing. this. That's amazing! The go. good thing is that we purposely didn't put smoke detectors over this bit of the studio. <laughs> Um, I've got to say to everybody, be careful when you do that. Probably put the water <laughs> yes. in. Put the water in first, everybody, and don't, don't put the water in first rather than the butter. Well, water. That burnt the butter just then. No, it didn't. It. You can see it. The butter no. was burnt. The thing is, it's called Vichy. And the deal is that you put the water and the butter together, they boil quite rapidly, the water evaporates, and then the vegetables cook at the same time, but soak all the butter up. Right. So, oh, so you don't have to wow. drain them. So if you are adding water to hot oil, that is, a, that is a catastrophe waiting to happen. Yes, Philip, it is a catastrophe waiting to happen. Right. So it's not, a, not the bestest thing to be doing. But now we know what happens. Right. It's a very so good now, learning curve. Now you're fr these have been on for about two minutes, these yeah. little fritters. I just simply turn them over, oh. if you can get them over. Doing well today, aren't I? Right. That's that. All right. I see. That's, That's what it. I thought looked like potato. Well, they, you could probably use potato flour if you want, but you turn them over once they're sort of just a little bit crispy and brown, and then you turn them again. Gone but when they, well. when they turn, you give them a little stab, like that, and that, when we turn them next time, they'll cook in the middle. Okay. Leeks go like that. In here... I love that way of cooking a uh, vegetable, that you leave all the butter like that. Yeah, look at that. I know that a lot of people don't like butter, but I think butter with leeks is delicious. So just to, to, just to make this a little safer, is it, is it possible to cook the butter or to heat the butter and the water from cold? Yeah, put the butter in the pan. I just do it because I want to be quick yeah. and show off a little bit. But anyway, all you do is just put the pan, water, bring the water to the boil, drop your butter in, right, okay. then put your leeks across the top. Right, I just right. did it really fast. That was OK. It. Now add to that a load of cooked peas and broccoli. So it could be your leftover lunch, your veg from... The, the roast. Yeah. That's, of course, if there's any leftovers. I know a lot of people don't have leftovers, but we seem to have leftovers. Maybe so cook far too much for the family. And then give that all a big stir. Now, lamb, I think, works very nicely with mint sauce. Mm. And people get bored of plain veg. So just next to you, Philip, there's this green stuff, and that green stuff is mint sauce. Ah. And you I'm going to put, put in the veggies? mint sauce in my veggies. Oh, quite a lot. Yeah. You've got to have a lot of mint sauce. Really? Yeah. Well, okay. you, you don't have to put so much in, Holly, no, if you no, don't no, want to. No, no, no. Listen, I like mint sauce. That just looked like a lot, but then yeah, you're well, the boss. Well, yeah. I think the thing is that, that with seasoning, I think sometimes we're a little bit frightened of it, and I think you can actually just put a little bit more in. Do you, Do you need plates? No, no, I've got one over there. Ah. Thank you. I'm grabbing a sec. 
And then so you turn again, and now they're lovely and golden. Look at that. And they, and they puff up because they're self raising flower. Oh, gorgeous. You get about 10 out of that. Yeah. That's a family of five for yeah. dinner. Yeah. yeah. That's your leftovers. A few veg. I made some bubble and squeak, so I know, I know the sort of people you are. Mm. We all love a bit of oh, bubble and squeak. Oh, ketchup as well. Oh, ketchup, yeah. Oh, you really have thought of everything. Oh, no, tomato sauce. <laughs> now, so that's that. Then you just take the. We'll take one that's made early because. No, I'll take one from here. Take a nice one from here because they are. Delicious hot. Where um, so where's the leek malarkey that to taste? The leek malarkey. <laughs> the leek malarkey. You'll see. Look, then my leek malarkey goes. You put the bubble and squeak in the middle of the table. You put your leek malarkey in the middle on the, on the side here. Look, smell that. Yeah, you can smell the mint. And the, the and mint you, and peas. just calm, calm mint, peas, mint and lamb. Peas all makes sense. Yes. I'm going to tuck in. Last bit tomato sauce. Yes, please. There you go. Anyway, so let's done. eat this whilst um, we have a recap. Mm. Mm. Combine the chopped lamb and the onion. Take a bowl and mix together the flour, salt, some pepper and water. Drop the lamb and onion into the batter and mix well. Spoon the fritter mixture into the hot oil. Turn over and leave to cook for another few minutes until they're brown and crispy. Melt the butter with 100 mils of water and a good amount of salt and pepper. Add the leeks and cook at a simmer for five minutes until soft. Add the broccoli and peas and give them a good shake around, then add the mint sauce. Serve the lamb fritters with the minted broccoli, peas and leeks. Oh, I, just, oh, had a... I just put a bit of pepper on mine, he's gone mad. Bill's just seasoned my food! <laughs> That's brilliant! I love that. And you were so tomato blatant with it as tomato well. Tomato sauce, lots of tomato sauce. But, but you know, I say it's very, very hard to get rid of... of um, uh, cooked lamb as a leftover. Mm. Really you, can use, you can use beef, you can use chicken, you can use whatever you like. They're um, good, aren't they? I love the mint, the mint. sauce in the vegetables. Me too. That's Thank a you. really good idea. Me too. Is it too much mint sauce? No, it's Th perfect. I wouldn't dare season anything you've done. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, great. <laughs>